So, you know, banter. Oh, banter. Yes. We call it banter. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't no. say that. Hi, I'm here with Jill Tumandal, who's the Vice President of Product Development and Innovation at Smashbox. And she is very kindly here to show us how the world's first 3D printer for lipstick works. So, Jill, where did the idea come from? So actually, uh, one of our chemists had the idea because he was thinking that um, if chocolate could be 3D printed, then why couldn't we 3D print lipstick? It really started off uh, printing it out as a bullet, but kind of takes too long. Okay. And when you can mold a bullet, why would you actually print the bullet? And the printer offers so much more because the whole point of it is really to create customized design. Any design can be created. So um, we've done several different types of designs. We have Big Ben here, which demonstrates a lot of the detail that you can get. So it makes it a lot more exciting to be able to see the product being printed. At the yeah. moment, you can't yeah. buy one, but do you kind of envisage that as the future? Yes. So we're looking at printing different formulas, uh, different consumer experiences. So yes, there'll be much more to come. So we're yeah. going to be 3D printing all of our makeup? It's possible, <laughs> yeah. I kind of see tech as... It's, a very, it's very much a man's world still, and I feel a lot of the products are kind of geared towards men. Do you think this is set to change that? You know, in the beauty industry, I think there's a lot of like technical innovation, whether it comes from, you know, technology such as this, um, whether it's uh, technology in manufacturing, technology in raw materials, um, and it, you know, a lot of women work in our industry, and it's made, you know also made for for women and of course anyone else who wants to wear makeup. Okay, so how does it work? When you actually print something on your printer, there's an ink cartridge, and the ink cartridge prints little dots. When you 3D print something, there is a, a resin cartridge of plastic, and it gets heated up and then also prints little dots. But then the tray moves down, and then it prints another layer, and then it moves down again and it prints another layer. So what we're going to do here, instead of 3D printing with plastic resin, we're actually printing with lipstick. Uh, the mirror gets inserted into the tray, and then we push the button. So the lipstick is coming through the cartridge, yeah. it's being heated up in the heating system to the proper melt point, and now it's going to lay little drops onto the mirror. And then you'll see the tray move down, uh -huh. and then the, the uh, image will build. Oh wow, look at it go. There's the finished wow. uh, printout of the palm tree. So we'll go ahead and give it a try. Thank you so much. Yes. I do actually have this lipstick at home. So oh, I'll good, yeah. Whether it's the same. Oh, so it, do, it just goes on like normal lipstick. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing us how it all works, and hopefully we can look forward to some more 3D makeup in the future. Absolutely. There's, there's definitely more to come. So it's really interesting to see how that all worked. Obviously, 3D printing has been around for a while in various different industries, but it was really cool to see it applied to something like makeup. I think it's fun, and I think it's definitely an interesting start to what could be the future of the beauty industry.